We're going to start this puppy up. Clear? Prop? And welcome back to Tip of the Week. Just the other day, I wanted to go flying, and I'm very fortunate I live on some property where there's a grass airstrip. And I had to do some mowing of the grass, so I was getting out the old lawnmower. And it had a problem, had to do a repair on the lawnmower. And there was a bolt, an old rusty bolt with a nut on it that was frozen solid after years and years. I had to get the nut off to do the repair and it would not come off and it was to the point where it was about to break if I went ahead and just wrenched it as hard as I could. So my first inclination was to get out the old torch and heat the thing up and then they always come off. But I don't like using torches around engines with gasoline and the fumes and the explosions and all the trauma that comes with that. So. I thought to myself, there has to be a better way to heat up a component without using a flame. So I want to show you a brand new device, which you may have never seen before, that is an excellent solution to creating intense heat wherever you need it. And, well, it, it'll it may blow your mind. I think this is incredible. Let's have a look. Here is our nut and bolt demonstration. Now this nut we will pretend is frozen solid, rusted on to the bolt inside of it and our goal is to remove it by any means possible. Now a typical possibility would be to use a torch because it is frozen on there through rust Obviously, our penetrating oil did not work, so we want to heat this up and get it off. And here is our device. This is a portable, very portable, induction heater. Plugs into the wall, 115 volts, can be held in one hand, and is operated by simply pushing this red button. At the business end, we have a coil. Now, if you were to take this white insulation off the coil, you would see that it's simply a number 10 wire and has an end located inside and is clamped in position with these thumb screws. So it's easy to remove out by just loosening the screws and taking it out. These can come in any number of diameters because the idea is we're going to place this over the part we want to heat up. And in fact, if you have an irregularly shaped part, we have one of these in a straight length so that we can bend it in a coil over whatever irregular shape we want. But that is it. It has a fan in it, it blows through. And let's put it to the test. Well, let's talk about how this thing operates. And of note is that this coil, where all the heat is created, does not actually get hot at all. 
In fact, you can leave your finger in there when you first turn it on because heat is not generated by the coil per se. Let's follow our thermodynamic journey as we describe what happens. Well, we start with 115 volts coming in the end, and inside of here is an electronic oscillator, approximately 100 kilohertz in frequency. And that is fed to this coil. Remember, this is just a coil of thick wire. And that high frequency oscillator creates a very strong magnetic field. And of course, we're going to place our metal object inside the coil. And that strong magnetic field introduces eddy currents into the metal. And that produces heat within that metal object. And that's why the materials you use have to be ferrous or steel, attractable by magnets, because that's where the magnetism, the magnetic field, really has the strongest effect on the metals that you insert in here and will have and create the greatest amount of heat. Induction heating, as it's called, is not new. That's been around for a while. What is kind of new is that this is so portable, handheld, and has the power to do exactly what we want it to do, localize heat, very intense heat, and allow us to do things like remove rusty nuts and bolts. The type of metal that works best as far as heating up is magnetic or ferrous metal. In other words, if you try to heat up aluminum or even stainless steel, you'll find that the electrons don't get quite so excited and they don't heat up very much. So I use a magnet to determine the metal that I'm trying to heat up to make sure it is, in fact, magnetic. And of course, our typical nuts and bolts are made out of steel and are magnetic. And that was kind of the purpose of this device is to heat up very locally areas, red hot nuts and bolts, to make them easy to remove. Now, instead of using one of their supplied coils of this diameter, we can also create our own coil. In this wire here, we have a length of about 30 inches where we can form this into any shape we want as long as it ends up such that it can fit inside the device. But that way, if you think about it, if we have something we need to heat up, for example, a tie rod on an automobile, long shaft, and it has an adjusting device somewhere in the center. And with old, old cars, those freeze up to the point where you have to torch them or they won't turn. Well, instead of using a torch, you could wrap this around that tie rod adjuster. And then as long as you get these two pieces in their appropriate position, we can plug them into the device and heat it up. Obviously, we can't slide this over a tie rod on an automobile because both ends are connected and you won't be able to get it on. And that's the idea of rolling your own coil. And again, nothing magical about this other than this is approximately a number 10 copper wire with some very nice insulation on this and the reason for this is remember you're getting something red hot and you don't want it to destroy the copper cable inside so this is an insulation material that they use to protect the wire otherwise you would destroy it after a few times and there you go so what other things can we heat up to tremendous heats and for what purpose? Asking a question like that just allows the imagination 
to run wild. Um, so you want to be careful. And by the way, very strong magnetic field. Obviously, that's how this works. So want to make sure you don't have any rings on. Otherwise, you will uh, yeah, melt one of your fingers. And you want to watch out for those tickers inside pacemakers. Thank you. Again, strong magnetic field. Now, we know through the laws of physics that the magnetic field dies very quickly exponentially as you move away from the coil, but still tremendous RF energy coming off of this. So you do want to be careful when it comes to metal ferrous objects. Oh, and did I mention if you get this too close to any of your body piercings when using this, you're going to be in for a world of hurt. Now I find it interesting if you look at the name of this product, it is Eve Screw Dismounting Device. Okay, that certainly describes what it does. And there you have it. Now you know about a new device that can provide tremendous localized heating where and when you may need such a thing. And basically provide a science project all in one sitting. I wonder when Harbor Freight will start carrying one of these devices in their catalog. So until then, Everyone now, back to building. How's my, my collar look okay now? <laughs>